Welcome to lecture number three. We're going to discuss here callouts. And uh, let's first talk about what a callout is. Um, in drawing form, a callout can be anything. You can call something out from plan view, or you can call something out from, let's say, section view. And what it really is, it's a graphic representation of uh, magnifying an area. So for example, in this floor plan here, let's say if I want to go ahead and magnify in another drawing, in another sheet, uh, magnify this area a larger scale so I can see basically this in depth, uh, more to detail at a larger scale in a different page in your set, that's what callouts basically are. And the same thing applies if it's in an elevation or a section. It's basically a, a dash bubble um, that indicates uh, that there's a magnification along the uh, certain area that you use highlighter or selected. Um, so let's let's uh, let's go call out. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and cut a section. Okay, there's my section, and just let's go to that section. That's basically this area here, and this is right now just a general building section that I've generated. And what I want to do is I want to do an enlargement, let's say a wall section of this particular area here. So pretty much what it does is it just magnifies this area to the next level so I can go in if I want and start detailing all these little things. That's what the call out really is for. So I can, for example, uh, say we can go to our view tab and call out. Okay, once again, under our tabs here, go to view, call out. And then what the call out does, you just click, drag, and let go. And then click again. Okay? So I'm going to undo. Do the same thing again. This, guy, this time I'm going to do it the other way. So I'm going to go call out. And I'm going to say click, drag, click. Okay? Just hit escape a couple times just in case. And you can notice it creates this little bubble here and it has this little tag here okay what i want to do is i want to highlight this tag and you can see the little little dots that appear there i want to drag this tag actually drag it to the opposite side okay always in uh in drafting conventions uh proper way for drafting conventions is you should always have the tag away you should never have information overlapping other piece of information it becomes really messy so let's go ahead and uh, leave it as that okay well, the moment you do that, and I don't know if you've noticed or not, but in the section view here, okay, you have now a new view that's called callout of section two. So I'm in section two, and I created a callout, and what it does is it creates a new view. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And as you can see now, it basically just displays the area, I'll go back here, that I highlighted along this zone here so that's what the call out basically does uh, and then from here I can go in and start creating I can go in with my annotate detail lines and I can do pretty much anything I want with my detail lines uh, I can dimension some more for example I can go aligned and I can start dimensioning some more so additional dimensions or additional uh, text you know pretty much any uh, information now that you want to add that takes it to the next level um, that's what callouts are for here's another example which is pretty neat actually if I'm in callout um, I'm in the callout view and I want to do an enlargement of just this area so as you can see what we're doing is we started at section 2 we did a callout section 2 it took me here and if I want I can do another callout of the callout of just this area here so I go view call out click click okay hit escape a couple times and same thing just drag this little bubble out here somewhere okay and what that does is it basically as you can see it creates this little guy now like anything else you can you know double click it you know you can go rename and you can call this uh, guard rail call out okay so now at, at this point now you can even take it even further you can now start definitely going through and providing 
you know, all your, any dimensions you want, so on and so forth. So it, it, it's pretty neat. Let's say if, uh, you know, at, at this level, you can also add with 2D lines, uh, for example, any stonework or, you know, anything you, you want to add, any hatching, which we'll talk about momentarily, and all this other stuff. That's really what the callouts are all about. Now you can go in and refine it to that next level of detail that Revit uh, typically wouldn't uh, wouldn't display normally. Um, that's pretty much callouts, and we've been talking about it mostly in section. Uh, but the same thing applies if you're in floor plan. Let's find a floor plan, and I want to do a callout, for example, that just creates a stair enlargement. Well, once again, you go to View, Callout. You basically click and click. Okay. Now, what that does, if you notice, once again, because you've done a call out from plan view, what it does is under the floor plan view area, it, you can see it says call out of level one. Once again, you can right click, rename, call it whatever you want. Here, I may want to call it stair enlargement. So I want to double click that area, as you can see, there you go. Now you can go in and start dressing it up with dimension lines. You know, here's just an example of many. And so you can start dimensioning. Oh, maybe we want to change our text there a little bit. Uh, would it be an eighth? Definitely not. An eighth, we're going to go down. Uh, maybe a quarter, maybe half an inch. That looks pretty good. But you, you get the idea, and you can start calling out with labels. So you click on text, and you can say maybe a two segment. So click, click, click. And from there, you can go ahead and call out material, concrete, stairs. And that's in a nutshell. Let me go ahead and maybe enlarge this a little bit so you can see the there you go. Concrete stair. All right. That's in a nutshell. That's your call out, at least your general idea of it. Please refer to your books um, for a good resource um, to just you know talk a little bit more about this. Okay, thank you very much.